Hi everyone, my name is Elena and you're watching Marvel's Designer Tool by Tool Tutorial Part 19. Today I'm going to talk about Line Tool that you can find it here on 3D window and you cannot find it on 2D pattern window. So before explaining Line Tool, I'm going to say, announce, in fact I'm going to announce that I'm going to teach also this cool outfit that I made it uh, yesterday. I'm not planning to explain how to create it just in this tutorial. It needs, uh, I think, two or other three tutorial. But as long as Line Tool lets me, I will explain how to create it. Plus, I'm going to say or introduce some new features of Marvel's Designer 7.2. And yes, so let's see what are we going to learn today. First of all, I need my reference. And in this new version of Marvel's Designer, you can click and drag your reference on your 2D pattern. As I told you before, okay, here is for a scale. Here, if you need some rotation, I don't need any rotation. And here is for opacity. And let's see. As long as this box is here, you can move your reference. As soon as you close it, and uh, you cannot move your reference anymore. Usually, I put it on 80%. Okay. The next feature, since we are going to um, work with a line tool today, uh, we need just this 3D window and the next feature of Marvel's Designer is that if you click on your ideal uh, window on keyboard, you press on Alt and W and you can have all the 3D window. If you are going to go back, Alt W again, if I click here, it's the same thing. So let's use our line tool. This menu has one, two, three, five tools. The first two are for making internal line and you're, we, are, we are going to use it later. First, we are going to use a line and in parentheses, I think, avatar. As soon as you choose this line tool, a blue, uh, blue, a black dot. I don't know. I don't even see well. I'm, I think, maybe I'm getting old. This black dot appears. It shows where are you aiming to start. So it shows where you are clicking. So first, you left click, and your pattern begins. This tool, I think, is good for people who don't know how to make pattern um, and in real world because for using Marvel's Designer, you'll need to know how to sew. So, let's first make um, my base pattern. Just need to click. You need to come a little bit here. No, no, no. If I'm going to go just one step back, I just need to use the lid on my keyboard. And this line tool knows the body. If you 
hold shift you can have you can go straight okay now i know i cannot go straight and for closing and for closing your the uh, your shape your pattern and making the pattern you need to close your shape where you started if you right click with it while you are on line tool you can add a point or curve point but i'm going to use edit line tool which is for editing lines that you made with line tool as you see can move in this one I read okay I'm going to fix you I don't want you also you I fix it later. So this is just the front part, now I need also the back part. For back part, uh, I click on what I already have on this point that I already have. In this way, my back part uh, will attach and be sewn to the front part. Let's see. that this knows body well Double shift and I come here mm -hmm. here I have some problems then I fix it on 2d pattern
and that's it let's edit I fixed it on my 2D pattern, it should have been straight, but it's not. Also W. So now for again I'll W because I'm going to flatten them. For flatten and making the pattern finally after you made your customization, you choose this flatten tool. Then, uh, when you go on the pattern that you made on your avatar, and then, as soon as it gets blue, you click, left click, and then without holding shift, you can choose your second out, uh, second fabric, second pattern. Um, so, for making the pattern, I just uh, right now need to press enter. And here is my pattern. This is the front part, and this is the back part. As you see, I can put it here. This is the part that was we had it in view. As you see, as I told you, these parts are attached to one another. So let's edit this pattern and make this bodysuit. I use a point to make my lines straight. Right now I don't need it, I think this is good. So, select your pattern, Ctrl D on your keyboard. The thing that you need to do is to sew it. And here, Ctrl D. And let's see our masterpiece. Yes. And now you know how to make this bodysuit. So let's use the next tool, which is line tool. Let me see um, another thing. Let me uh, see if there is other thing that I could tell you. There is delete at point and add curve that you saw how I use them. 
And yes, after that you finish making your pattern, you can delete them. It doesn't make your pattern to disappear. Okay, I cannot delete this. Can I delete you? Delete. 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 And yes. I have problem just with this part. So, for a line tool, but on 3D pattern. I left click on here, on my pattern. And with double click, I can finish making the line. Then, here, I click another time. Where is it? It's under. Yes. I can finish making the line with double clicking. Here. I double click on it, say duplicate and symmetric. Duplicate to symmetric pattern. Uh, what do I have here? I have delete, add point, add curve. These things I need to do them later. For now, I'm going to edit my. Do this so okay. first I edit everything on the left part and then I make a symmetric okay, I, made, I made a mistake You see it on 2D pattern, but it's like a baseline, and you cannot choose this internal line. What we should do is to edit, uh, choose edit line, 
we can say or trace as internal line or convert to internal shape. First, I need this symmetric. Okay, now I trace it as internal shape. I hold shift to have multiple traces. Also here you can cut and sew and cut and So I have this thing here. Now for the back part. Here I cut and sew it. As you see, here is cut and attached. So this is how to use a line tool in 3D window. So let's continue and do other things. Uh, I'm planning to make the bra and these gloves. First, I'm going to make these parts uh, invisible. I add another fabric. transparent to make it transparent here you click on the fabric and on property editor you find uh, opacity and make it to zero and now I choose my and my patterns that I want them to be invisible and assign them. Here I forgot to cut and sew it. Cut and sew. Okay. 
need to delete these lines. The most ration, rational, yes, the most rational thing was to make the bra and then the garment that comes over it, on it. But since I was excited to make this tutorial, I made first the bodysuit and now I'm going to make the bra. But it's not a big problem because now I can select all my pattern and then um, mm -hmm. here I don't have the option oh. deactivate pattern and swing also pattern only in this way this pattern doesn't bother me So let's make the bra. Again, I'm going to use my line tool. First, I'm going to disappear the bodysuit and yes, I'm going to use Alt and W and I start to make this bra. Center. Hold shift. This is the front part, and for the back part, I can use shift, shift. Can I hold shift? No. But I can use edit line tool and add curve. I add curve to make a straight line. Okay, now flatten. You don't need to hold shift to have multiple choices. And press enter. This is the front part. This is the back part. Um, you should be careful when you're using line tool because after flattening uh, it may give you disorganized disorganized yes so disorganized uh, patterns right now I click here but you you see the it's not uh, where I expected so. Let's edit a little bit. I made a rhyme. I use these squares to see if I can make a 90 degree line. Um, yes. I want this part to be 
straight. Okay. I didn't know this is curved here. It's it doesn't seem like curved. Okay, let um, I can fix it later. So I may I press Control plus D on keyboard and make a symmetric pattern. Control D. Yes. I just need to show the center part. Preventing this um, garment to this bra to fall, I need to do something. First, I delete my lines. Okay. Now I'm going to use this tool that I'm going to teach it, explain it in. Another tutorial. I use this option. Left click. And the third one, your third click is important because it makes the whole circle around your avatar. I should attach my uh, my pattern into this line. I use attach tool. Now first you choose your fabric, then this line. Now simulate. Okay, now I need to edit. No, well, I don't know if I was right. I don't know if I was. Yes, I was right. Making it curve makes this part to be straight. Okay, uh, let's make this beautiful.
Okay, I make these pieces of fabric elastic. It's too much. Also, I want to merge this. Let me see how can I fix this problem. So I really don't like this. Mm. You left me no choice. eliminated the that part so this is the bra Activate, activate. So yes, this is the first part. No, this is the second. This is the second part. Now with line tool, I'm going to do also another thing, which is the gloves. So let's do the gloves. Okay, for the glass, I use my line tool and I start to make the pattern. 
Okay, I'm starting. Not in a not a good way. So. here okay I may need to do more clicks It is a little bit long. I will fix it later. Mm -hmm. okay, let me see where was the okay it was here. around but not this much okay finally oh no first let me edit Okay, now I flatten this mess in Alt W. Let's see what we did. What is it? Okay, let's fix it. Let's face it and let's fix it. Ok, 
Okay, one of the problems is this one. Uh, the other is this one. I'm not going to make so many changes here. But something like this needs to be changed. Control C, Control V. No, Control D. I think I need to do a symmetric one that goes on the other hand. Delete all the pin. Delete all pins. Okay, I try my best to bring it under this glove. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay, this part needs to be sewn to this part. I use N. Okay, I'm going to make this strength. Okay, let's see the magic. Are you ready? I'm not ready. Oh my god. I didn't ruin it completely. And another thing that I like to do here is to make another time is to use another time this magic tool because it really helps a lot and it, it doesn't go away when you do animations okay let's fix this one way to uh, prevent seeing some problems is to decrease the particle distance usually it helps usually not always okay. no you should come here yes 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 Oh my god. Okay.
What should I do? I don't like this part. Okay, it's cool. They have hard time getting along, getting getting along. Okay, the next thing that I did for for the gloves is that uh, first let me delete the lines Finally, after hard working, I was able to delete my line that I didn't need it anymore. Okay, the next thing that I did for making my gloves is that... Aren't they a little bit big? Click on my avatar and here I press the skin offset as one. And this is so much better. First I try everything and then one of them <laughs> will work. That's why you should know Marvel's designer well. And this way you have more solutions. Try to make a point here because I'm going to make this part curve and make space for my thumb. Okay. Another thing that I did for uh, my reference is that. I attach them again with um, this um, with this process that I first with my basic tool I make a line and then I attach my fabric to it 
but here I don't see this necessity. Okay, if we're making it larger, you have two ways. I don't know if I want if I'm going to tell you in this session because uh, the next tool that I'm going to tell you, which is um, which is edit styline ed, uh, styline tool. Uh, there I can tell you too because I use this tool. So first I tell you this one, uh, this uh, this mode, this mode, this way, this way. I make it larger. Okay, I made it too much a lot. Something like this. And the second way I will tell you in the next tutorial. So for now we did these three pieces with edit line tool and from in the next session I'm going to talk about um, edit a style line or style line tool to make this jacket. Another new feature in Marvel's Designer 7.2 uh, that I'm going to mention here, which is uh, very cool, uh, is USD format. Uh, first of all, I'm going to tell you uh, what is USD format. Um, as you know, we don't have a um, rendering feature in rendering engine in Marvel's Designer and you always should export your stock and you always should export your um, your design your creation in another app to like blender and 3ds max to uh, give materials and other stuff so uh, we usually uh, do this thing that we should export and then um, export our creation of garment uh, like OBJ and FBX and it's not that all applica all softwares uh, can read FBX and OBJ sometimes uh, you're going to uh, use a variety of softwares and then you need to do more exports so this is a difficult thing to do. That's why they made it simpler. What they did is that they made a unique format that most of the softwares that 3D artists use, artists use uh, can use it, which is USD file, as you see here. USD file is a format uh, that is uh, compatible with most of the 3D softwares and you don't need to make too many exports in a variety of different types of uh, formats. You just do one export, USD file, again, yes, USD file, and then that's it. So how it works in Marvel's Designer, uh, where we have fabric or every one of these uh, windows. In this tutorial, I use this window here under fabric. I choose use the layer. I don't know if you like to say also omniverse because another option is that we can have omniverse uh, connector. What is omniverse connector? Omniverse connector is a platform for artists um, that it supports USD file format and in this platform you can uh, so many artists can work together on the same project in the same time for example if a company hires me in Italy uh, then they hire another person who is good who is good at lighting uh, in Japan uh, and another artist which is good at material um, 
is in America. All of us together uh, via this Omniverse connector, we can work at the same time on the same project on Omniverse connector. And Omniverse connector has other steps to do. You should download it and you should have a local server and something and i'm going to tell you how it works in the next sessions um yes and that's what omniverse connector is but right now i'm going to talk about usd layer and how to make it first you should create one or if you don't want to use these steps, you can select uh, the fabric, the patterns that you want to export them as USD. For example, I do. I select just this, the front. I don't want to do this. I just want to use half of my clothes. Now I right-click on my selection and. When this menu appears, the last option is export to USD layer. If you don't create any layer here, it asks you that no layer exists. Do you want to create new one? And then you create. It works the same. First, I create a new layer. I call it test. This is USD file. I save it. You can create multiple, like two. I don't want to think a lot. Okay. You see, one of them is white, the other is yellow, yellow, <laughs> and the other one is yellow. And uh, if you don't know where your uh, file is, you can just, uh, without clicking, your selection goes with the yellow one. The one that is selected, the yellow means selected. Okay, by, by double clicking, you can choose it. So I choose just this pattern. And as soon as since this one is yellow is selected i export it as usd and you can here you can uh, select and not select and uh, choose your scale and okay and it's finished then i tell you how to import uh, in this way i selected just a part of my um, pattern here uh, I, I could also use all of them, but I want to tell you uh, oh, another difference because here, if I go on File, Export, USD, here I choose without, without choosing, automatically it chooses uh, all of the pattern. Here you select. I don't have any graphical trends. And yes. Okay. Let's import them. Import means that uh, bringing them on our scene. You can import here or on file, import, or you can add. Right now I'm going to add. Add is for when you already have uh, your avatar and you want it to remain there and you want to add another. Open is you want what you have here to disappear and a new project appears on your uh, Marvel's Designer. So. Here I choose import and I had this test. I open it. 
here asks me open or add I'm going to add and I'm saying usually it's on zero I say um, okay bring it in the one meter away from my main character and here it is this is half of this is exactly what I exported and now here I use this USD and this all this one with two meter distance and yes it works like this for the omniverse connector I will explain it in another session and yes that's it also you can clear here and it doesn't disappear and yes that's it so i hope you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and have a nice day bye